Then, of course, at number one, the Chiefs. There is no obvious weakness. There really is no weakness. This is a 14-win team and a one seed. Show me the Chiefs, please. I hope the Chiefs are there. Uh, they're a 14-win team and the one seed. And since everyone knew I was going to say that, I'll give you a bonus prediction. Oh, I'll, like tell you, bonus prediction. I'll tell you the three losses. They lose at the Chargers early in the season, and that's like the Chargers are here moment. Sure. Then the Chiefs crush them later in the year. They lose at Buffalo because it's just the most. It's like when your big brother's beating you up and he lets you up for a moment, like, oh, I'm going to get him, and then they smash you again. So it gives them just enough hope. And they lose at home against Houston in December. It's right around Christmas. It's right after they play Cleveland. Cleveland beats people up. So those are the three losses for the Chiefs. Week four at the Chargers, week 11 at Buffalo, week 16 at home against Houston. They're 14 and three in the one seed. And Greg, there's my AFC West. Okay, so yes, we all did know that Nick Wright was going to pick the Kansas City Chiefs to win the division. And so I wanted to do something a little bit differently. Um, I reached out to JCT Slice, subscriber of the show, and he's made the bold prediction that he believes that the uh, LA Chargers are going to win the division. And so I said, hey, can you give me a write-up as to why you think that will be? It'll be more interesting to me than just kind of talking about the Chiefs winning the division. And he's made this bold prediction. He made this, I think, originally maybe like a month or two ago. And so I was like, okay, I want to hear your concrete reasons why, and I can read them, and then we'll uh, discuss it. So here it is. He goes, uh, here are the three main reasons why I think the Chargers will win the division. Harbaugh, somewhat reviving Herbert's career. He has history of doing this with QBs, where polarizing unknown QBs take a leap under him that they either didn't, uh, that they either didn't do before or didn't do since. He did it with both Alex Smith and Kaepernick in the NFL and sort of did it with J.J. McCarthy at Michigan. Herbert has lost shine in the media where people actually rail on him more so now. Uh, but we'll put it, but we'll put him back in the positive spotlight. There we go. Number two, Chiefs offense won't take the leap people think. And this one is a big one. Kansas City got Worthy, Brown, and Juju back. But the thing is that none of these guys are great by any means. Worthy is a rookie that is a question mark right now. Brown struggles with health and catching the ball. Juju hasn't been great in years, if he ever was to begin with. Kelsey will be 35 and you typically don't improve as you age once you get past the age of 31. I think the Chiefs will look closer to what they were last year offensively than the old days. Chiefs that were putting up 30 plus fairly easily. Uh, let me see. Hold on. I want to make sure I do this right. Okay. Yeah. And then the Chiefs defense is likely to take a step back. They were maybe number one defense last year, and there's literally nowhere to go but down from there, especially with Sneed gone now, and they're going to feel that loss in the secondary. With the schedule KC has, I can see them taking more L's than some think if teams are able to score slash pass better on the Chiefs. Those are my reasons. Well, I can't say that I even 100% disagree with what he's saying. I don't know if that's going to be enough to actually have the Chiefs now not win the division. But I do think all those points are 100% valid because I've talked about this as well. And I actually just said this recently uh, to the to another uh, subscriber, you know, in the comments where I was saying, I think the Chiefs offense has the potential to look very similar, if not a notch below um, what it was you know, from its high, you know, I think it's, I think their offense will not go back to their peak powers of when they were putting 30 plus points up there. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I think at the very least, it'll be very similar to what it was last year. And then the question is, can they get away with being another defensive led team? And that's a question mark, because I think Kelsey is going to continue to go downhill. I just think he is. He is getting older. He is already trending downward. He is always banged up. I don't know if his heart's in it as much as it once was. And I don't even blame him. He just got a $100 million deal for doing a podcast. And he is dating the most famous person on the planet. Living a life that he didn't even get to live. I mean, Taylor Swift's like next level royalty. So I, 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 won't even, I don't even blame him in that regard. And we saw the Chiefs. We're starting to come undone 
last season. They were. We saw them getting in fights. I mean, they were yelling. Patrick Mahomes is yelling. Like, we, we saw these issues legit, be a legitimate thing. They were able to get away with it. Will they be able to get away with it for another year? To me, that is the question mark. And I do. I think their defense, when he says their defense was maybe number one, I think their defense was number one. I think that's very clear that they had the number one defense. And it is a fair point. Will they be able to continue that? Have we ever really seen teams go year to year to year, be the number one defense or number one offense and just maintain that? Will they take a step back just because not all things are going to perfectly go their way as it did last year? Maybe there are some other injuries or what have you. Maybe other teams now have learned how to work against the defensive schemes that they set up. It's all definitely quite possible. So I think it's more about the Chiefs for me personally and less about Harbaugh and the Chargers. I also think this division is a lot more difficult than people realize. I think the Broncos will be a tough matchup. I think the Chargers will be tough. And quite frankly, I think even the Raiders. We've seen those teams actually beat the Chiefs when they don't have quarterbacks, when they don't have a lot going on for them. Those teams should be better now. And I, and I can't say that the Chiefs got measurably better. It's just not the way I see it. Now, again, to be very clear, because I'm already hearing all the Kansas City Chiefs fans freaking out. I am not saying that they're not going to win the division. I'm not going to say that they're not going to make the Super Bowl. I'm not going to say that they're not going to be beasts and a top team in the NFL. I'm not saying any of those things. Because when you have Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, that alone is going to put you head and shoulders above majority of teams out there. Okay, those are that is just a beast next level duo. But to me, the Chiefs do have more question marks than people want to acknowledge. That's just the way I see it. And I'm really excited to see. And it's tough because it's going to be a good game either way, most likely between the Ravens and the Chargers. The benefit of them playing this that first game is that they should be fully healthy, right? So there's no like risk of like, oh, well, Lamar was banged up or oh, Mahomes or Kelsey was out that game, right? Like that minimizes that risk, which is nice. But also first game of the season, it's tough. Uh, typically the defense is ahead of the offense. Like it's just, the teams just don't always look 100% accurate at that regard, you know, that early on in the season. So we might not get like a perfect portrayal, uh, a, a portrayal of, of, of these two teams, but it will be an interesting first game. That's for sure. Uh, so that'll give us at least some information to see where they stand. Cause it's like, especially if let's say the chiefs just run the score up on the Ravens or the Ravens dominate you know, uh, Patrick Mahomes defensively, like whatever it may be, like we'll get some data. Uh, and we're so close to that. We're a week away from that. So, but yeah, no, I mean, I think, I think it's a very bold prediction by JCT Slice. And um, I think it's a courageous prediction, quite frankly. And I'm fascinated to see how this ages. I think Harbaugh will do all those things with the Chargers. I just don't know how quickly. I keep saying this, that I really think that they're on a one to two, even three-year plan of reviving what the Chargers can do. The Chargers were definitely in a pretty big hole. And I'm not sure what Herbert's injury, how much that has held him back in, in what he's going to be able to be able to do with Harbaugh. Um, I am a firm believer that they will be a top team in the NFL eventually. I'm just not sure when. And like I just said, you know, really more than anything, is just that this division is going to get harder. It just is. They, they already won games against the Chiefs when they were when those other teams were essentially nothing. Now those teams have all gotten better, and it's not clear to me that the Chiefs have gotten significantly better. So therefore, I think the Chiefs are definitely losing more than three games. And listen, the last thing I'll say, we know, we know with a shadow, without a shadow of a doubt, never a doubt, as Nick Wright would say, never a doubt that he doesn't even believe that the Chiefs are as good as they were years past because he literally had them going undefeated last season. And now he's having them lose against the Chargers? Against the Bills? Come on. Come on. What are we talking about here? That might be someone who lacks a little bit of confidence in their team. I don't know, though. I don't know. Maybe it's just some, you know, legit, honest analysis. 
maybe last year he was just kind of trying to juice it up, trying to speak it into existence. But I think that the Chiefs will not be as dominant. I still think that they have the potential to be dominant, and they will ha- and they will definitely be great. I don't think that they're going to take a backslide and just now be a scrub team here, but it's just not clear to me. I think a lot of people think that Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs are just going to consistently be the number one team for the next eight years in a row, and no one's going to be able to stop them. It's just Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. And that has never been done before in the history of any sport. And I just don't think it's going to happen with Patrick Mahomes. The only way that happens in football or any sport, specifically football now, is if we get a quarterback who's like built like LeBron James and can run like Tyreek Hill and has longevity and never get, right? It's just a freak of nature. We get Shaquille O'Neal as quarterback and he's just absolutely unstoppable. Nobody can bring him down. It's a guaranteed 8, 9, 10 yards every single snap. Like, that's the only way something like that happens. We've never seen, and that's never happened yet, obviously. I don't even know if it's even physically possible. Just, you can't dominate at the levels that people try to believe that their team or that their players can. So many things have to happen in their favor. And I always point this out with the Patriots and Tom Brady. He was able to win so many Super Bowls. A huge reason for that, nothing to do with his talent and skill. That obviously all matters. But he was able to really take advantage that there was the, that you had the Jets who were nothing for years, the Bills who were nothing for years, and the Dolphins who were nothing for years. He practically had a one way ticket to buy Central, you know, in the playoffs. That mattered tremendously. In the, for the majority of Patrick Mahomes' career, the Raiders have been nothing. The Chargers have been nothing. The Broncos have been nothing. I really think that's ending. It's going to be harder. It's going to be a harder path forward for the Chiefs moving forward. That I do believe. How will that impact their ability to win and especially win Super Bowls? I'm excited to find out. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think about this? Um, do you think that, um, do you believe what JCT Slice is saying? That the Chargers actually have the potential to win the division and that the Chiefs will take a step back? Let me know in the comments below. Be nice. Don't be a hater. Don't attack JCT Slice. This is supposed to be fun. Depending on how this works out, I can read more comments from other people like this, um, especially if people don't just go off the rails with it so if you disagree with him just explain why you don't gotta say that he is you know this and that and he doesn't know anything this is all just meant to be fun and interesting so let me know in the comments below i read every single comment so whether you agree with me or disagree with me either way let's get in some discussions let's get in some fights but ultimately let's just have some fun and please do consider subscribing we are building an amazing community here and i would absolutely love to see you part of it I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much and see you next time.